I'm gonna show you how to do it fast. What you wanna do is to first memorize the flow of fully filled orbitals up to the 4s orbital. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10. The reason why we write the 4s orbital first is because it has a lower energy level compared to the 3d orbital. This applies to all elements except for copper and chromium. Once you have this at your fingertips, whatever element the question throws at you, just automatically write as many fully filled orbitals as you can until you can't anymore. So if it's an aluminium atom with 13 electrons, just start writing out what we've memorized earlier. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. Then stop to check if the number of electrons add up to 13. In this case, we have only written up till 12 electrons. So we just need one more and we can complete the electronic configuration by adding on 3p1. For a calcium atom with 20 electrons, let's let our memory flow by writing out 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. As of now, we have filled up a total of 18 electrons, which gives us 2 electrons left to write. So we just add on 4s2. Don't forget that we write 4s2 first and not 3d10 first. For manganese with 25 electrons, it will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. And so far, we have filled a total of 20 electrons, leaving us short of 5 electrons. So we add 3d5 to complete the electronic configuration. That wasn't so bad, right? Now go try it out on your own. But before that, remember I said that copper and chromium do not follow what we've memorized? Copper's electronic configuration fills up the 3d orbital first, followed by the 4s orbital, while the electrons are spread across the 3d and 4s orbitals for chromium. Not sure why? This video is gonna make sure you will be good to go.